This changes everything as former WWE star Matt Riddle spoke out about his future with the company in an interview and what he said has WWE fans riled up about his return and teases a massive feud with Randy Orton and we're going to break it all down for you guys coming up on this episode of Wrestle Digest. Before we get into it, we're going to say over 70% of you guys watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel so you want to stay up to date on everything that's happening around the wrestling world, make sure you're down below and hit that subscribe button but before we dive into this matt riddle stuff josh we gotta talk about uh this wwe teases uh -oh. a dream match and if you watch monday night raw you might have got a gist of what we're talking about here and if we just bring it up here of course we're talking about wade barrett versus drew mcintyre i mean on commentary we see him get face to face in an altercation where it seems to believe it, they're looking uh down the road at a feud between these two once friends now looking like they may be turning enemies and one interesting thing before i toss toss it over to you josh is wade beard actually spoke about a return back in july and this is what he had to say he said if i could have one match if for the remainder of my days on this planet it would absolutely be me against drew mcintyre at wembley stadium if they dangled that in front of me at any point in time absolutely i'm coming back and i have that match to have that match sold out at wembley stadium but that is just a pipe dream but it doesn't seem like it's a pipe dream with all these rumors of a potential wrestlemania in london it seems like this could happen josh Oh my gosh, like, don't don't tease me too much, WWE. This would be amazing. I mean, of course, Drew McIntyre is one of my absolute current favorite wrestlers. And I'll be honest, it took me a while to get on board with Drew McIntyre, right? But now in the past couple of years, I mean, really since he started carrying during COVID, he's been one of my faves. I'm sure a lot of your guys' favorites too. There's just something about him. But Wade Barrett, man, that dude... He has done so much for the wrestling world. And Casey, like we were talking about before the show, it's not like Wade Barrett left because of injury or any, you know, disdain for the sport of wrestling or clearly not a problem with WWE considering he's still there night in and night out. He just left to pursue other opportunities. He, he did some other things. I think he may have acted a little bit, but he's back on commentary now. He's still in game shape. You look at him there, the dude's still in good shape. He could absolutely still go. So... I mean, KC, I think they're just planting this seed at the very least. I don't know what the plan is for McIntyre and Punk now after Bad Blood, because I think they've made it very, very clear that after this Hell in a Cell match, this is done. Adam Pearce was very clear saying, like, there is nothing after this. So, you know, you could, you could come back to that in the future. I'm assuming Punk will probably go, I don't know, maybe Rollins for Mania. That maybe makes some sense, but there's a lot of paths they could go with that for sure. But when it comes to Drew... Who's next in line? Now, you could put Drew in a feud with absolutely anyone, and it'd be it'd be full of bangers. You put him into a Sheamus or something, you know, there's this kind of thing. But the idea that you're going to tease, you know, here and there, him and Wade Barrett going at each other. Now, I know WrestleMania next year is definitely not in London. It's going to be in Vegas. But in the future, I mean, we're seeing the success of all the AEW uh, pay-per-views over in London. They're doing phenomenally well. And I think two guys both from Great Britain, you know, we got some Scotland, we got some England, I think those two guys could very well go head to head, and I think it could work really well, Casey, I'm, I don't know if I want to make this hot take right now, but I'm gonna say that this match is going to happen within the next couple of years. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think this is a dream match that everybody wants to see, especially me. You got two of the biggest stars in Europe. I mean, you, you can make an argument for Wade Barrett if you want, but that guy was a top star in his time. Mm -hmm. You got to remember, he this guy carried the Nexus for a long time. Okay. He was such a good wrestler, the most underappreciated wrestler of all time, in my opinion. And now we see him on commentary. He's doing a great job at that. But everybody wants to see him lace up them boots again for one final match. And there's no better way to do it than to have this rivalry with friends become foes between Drew McIntyre and Wade Barrett. Have it in Wade Barrett's homeland of England at Wembley, one of the biggest stadiums in oh. the world. It just sets up such a great match. And, and like you said, I, I think this is going to happen. I 100% think that WWE is going to sweep Wembley from Tony Khan and AEW and pull off a way better show than what they have been doing over the past couple of years. At least better attendance. I think All In's been great. But I do think 
you'll you'll fill 90,000 people up there for WWE one no doubt about it so I, I really want to see this match happen and it's going to be a great one to follow over these uh, next couple of years because I think they're going to be dropping hints here and there until eventually we do get announced that uh, WrestleMania will be at Wembley we want to hear your guys thoughts on that down below in the comment section we're going to get into the main topic of the video today Josh which is this is, this is crazy this is, is very unexpected too because we got word today we're just going to bring it up on the screen right now that right Matt Riddle says his chances to return to WWE are extremely high. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, you could also say something else is extremely high about Matt Riddle. Had to throw that one in there. But uh, this is so awesome because Matt Riddle is one of those guys that kind of was a little bit underappreciated. Yes, he had one run uh, with the mid-card title but and then had that run with RK Bro. But this is a guy oh, who... Yeah you know, kind of lost out on his chances just because of stuff he did behind the scene. Yeah, like, the thing with Matt Riddle is, like, he was never that bad in ring. You know, there's going to be some criticisms here and there. A lot of people don't like his bare feet. You know, it is a little dirty and messy, but then again, I guess wrestling naturally is. Not going to get into that. Why am I talking about that? The big point is Matt Riddle here. So, like, when he was with WWE, he really started to get over. And, I mean, with RK Bro, I mean, those things where him and Randy are hugging, like, there were some huge pops in those moments. People really got invested in this. And, by all accounts, Matt Riddle and Randy Orton genuinely grew close to each other. They became friends. And, of course, when Riddle left WWE, well, he was kind of pushed out of WWE, let go for various reasons. He made it clear. He's like, hey, you know what? I get it. I think it's a good thing for us or for me and for them because he really has seemed to learn from it, Casey. Just a few months ago, he was uh, on, I don't know if it was an interview or a podcast or something, but he was saying like, yeah, it makes sense. I've had chances to better myself. Like it was, it seems like it really was a wake up call for him. And now he's doing some stuff kind of all around. He's a new cruiserweight champion down in AAA in Mexico, which is like a fairly prestigious thing to get, right? Like he's still on the scene. He's still doing well. And we have Randy Orton here, Casey. And that's what I wanted to get into here now. We know we all want to see Randy Orton versus Cena at some point on Cena's retirement tour. We all want to see Randy Orton eventually maybe turn heel on Cody Rhodes. But I think this here, we never got to see the culmination of RK Bro. Matt Riddle just disappeared while Orton was out. Orton came back and Riddle was gone. It was actually just soon before Orton came back that they let go of Riddle. So that to me is the biggest thing here to bring in Matt Riddle maybe that could be the opportunity for an Orton heel turn. This is probably a hot take for me. Everyone wants to see Orton turn heel on Cody Rhodes. And I think that's going to happen at some point. However, do you really want to have him turn heel now this soon before John Cena's retirement year? Do you want him to be a heel when he goes against John Cena? Or do you want it to be kind of two legendary faces going off against each other? You know, I mean, that can work as well. So I don't really know what WWE's plans are, but I really think something between Orton and Riddle, some kind of feud, some kind of storyline, just writes itself. Because Matt Riddle has said, Casey, he basically said, if CM Punk can do it, why can't I? Yeah, if Bill Goldberg can do it, why can't he do it either? I mean, Gunther's it, it, exactly. Gunther's favorite, favorite wrestler, number one of all time, if you missed that one. But I want to see this. I think Randy Orton is way better heel than he is face. I think when you think of Randy Orton, you think of the legend killer. You think of the punt. You know, you think of him getting the voices in his head. And we need to see the voices take over again for him to turn on his old buddy, Matt Riddle, to turn him heel, have a great feud between them because we missed out on that. We were all waiting for for it to happen and it, we never got the chance to see it so now with Matt Riddle you know plotting his his return to the ring we could see this finally happen between these two great superstars who were great friends now turned foes more like what we were talking about with Wade and Drew but I think Randy Orton as a heel makes 100% sense like you said Cody Rhodes we want to see him versus Randy because there's nobody else on the roster right now who, to face Cody so we need that as well but we, we also have John Cena, like you said, that, that everybody's thinking John Cena's last match is going to be against Randy Orton because Randy Orton said, I mean, if you missed it, he wants John Cena to induct him into the Hall of Fame. So it only makes sense for John's last match to be against Randy Orton as a heel. Bring back the legend killer in 2024. We've been waiting for it for such a long time. And having these Hunt two... him in the head to end his career. Yeah, exactly. That's what we need from, from Randy it? Orton. I, I think I think so. I think so. That's, that's, that's how we want to see John Cena go out, get <laughs> booted in the head and never come back. No, probably 
Halloween up. But, hey, well, we've see. seen him with Ric Flair when uh, Shawn Michaels sweet and music his head off. So why can't Ooh. we see it with, with uh, John Cena? But I, I think this is the perfect way to do it. A lot of people, like you said, will be upset with that because they want to see him turn on Cody Rhodes. But I think you'd get a bigger pop for Matt Riddle to come back and Randy to turn on his best friend. That could be interesting. Like, as for how big the pop, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, I think it all depends how they build the story, right? And I think WWE has done a really good job at doing that. They, well, they definitely haven't been pulling the trigger too early with many things. There have been some people arguing that they pulled the trigger too late, looking at LA Knight. But at the same time, when he finally got that pop and he finally won, it felt natural. It felt right. It didn't necessarily feel like it was crazy, crazy overdue, right? So... I think it depends how they build the story, whether they want to build it with Cody or Riddle. But regardless, Casey, again, these stories write themselves if Riddle does come back to WWE. RK-Bro could reunite. I don't know if, like, that kind of, you know, maybe they do, like, a kind of Chad Gable Otis kind of thing. I don't know. Not not along that same vein, but I just mean guys who were partners who were so happy together and slowly start to drift apart. There's so many different ways they could go with this. But regardless, having Matt Riddle back in WWE, as much as a lot of people aren't a fan of him and you know based on his own storytelling i don't think wwe are necessarily huge fans of him he has certainly changed he seems ready to to mend those bridges that were maybe burned maybe you know put up in smoke at some point but before he left uh and if he manages to do that i i think there's just a few nice little strides that he could be put in is there going to be a main event picture for matt riddle i don't see it happening he's a one-time u.s champ for like what a month or something what what who would he be bobby lashley for it? okay like three years ago um but look there's ideas, there's things, but a Randy heel turn on Riddle, I think is the one that jumps out as maybe the most obvious if they don't go the Cody Rhodes route. Yeah, definitely. I think bringing Matt Riddle back is great because like he's, like he's, you said, he's learned from his mistakes. He wants to work his way back into the company. And I think this guy's a tremendous wrestler who maybe didn't get that much appreciation from the WWE Universe. Maybe I'm wrong there, but I think this guy is a great talent. You bring him back in, Find him a new tag team partner. Find him, you know, something like this to get him back into that tag team division. Or even have him go along the mid-card route again. Maybe he yeah. fights up his way for the Intercontinental Championship. I think it'd be great to have him back. It's always great to see old stars come back. And I think Matt Riddle returning into a Royal Rumble would, would be a big pop from a lot of people. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think about Matt Riddle returning to WWE possibly? We want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you think Randy should hurt, turn heel on Riddle or turn heel on Cody Rhodes? Let us know down below. But if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to hit that like button. It helps push these videos out to all the wrestling fans on YouTube. Also, subscribe to the channel. We're just under 200 subscribers away from hitting our goal of 3,000. And if you want to check out a video we did the other day, it'll be popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, KC, alongside my co-host, Josh Goss. We'll catch you in the next one.